Here is Ken singing about blonde fragility in the insanely woke new Barbie. This is possibly the most anti-male film ever mad. What? No. <laughs> Hollywood is programming young girls to hate men. Barbie is anti-male feminist propaganda. And it looks like the new Snow White... This, this is about Barbie, too. This is about Barbie. Barbie movie is... Barbie movie is good reminder that radical feminism is anti-male, anti-child, and anti-woman. <sighs> taking a screenshot of that. That's hilarious. <laughs> I think I just grabbed my stuff. <laughs> it didn't have anything to do with anything. Basically said it really confirmed Marxist woke ideology is infiltrating all of American culture. She is not political, but was appalled. I'm just kind of tired of this stuff. Whoa, these are some words I can't say. Musk bashes Barbie movie for anti-male subliminal messaging. You call it subliminal, but then all of a sudden everybody who is somewhat self-conscious of their masculinity is talking about it on Twitter. Like, like, oh, it's subliminal. Nobody knew about it, but... It, Musk. Oh, it, he did literally respond. Whoa. It, you take a sh... What? You run Twitter, dude. My producers dragged me to see Barbie. And it was one of the most woke movies I have ever seen. My full review of this flaming garbage heap of a film will be out on my YouTube channel to Oh, I don't want to call him out for that. Dude, you can't dress up like the characters in the movie and then get upset. You dressed up, dude. You were excited. You dressed up. Greta, hashtag Gerwig, hashtag Barbie, is not for children. It's a feminist ideological smix toy. Preachy, graceless, and anti-male. Plus, it insults Kubrick and Zack Snyder. You didn't tell me... It ins... I wasn't told that this movie likely pokes fun at filmmakers. <laughs> Not Zack. Not Zack. I actually thought that joke was hilarious. The Zack Snyder one specifically. <laughs> and I like Zack Snyder. Let's not, get, let's not get that twisted. I love Zack Snyder. Obviously, I'm just poking fun at some of these tweets that I've seen just because I was so surprised by it all. Barbie is not anti-male. And just hold on. Barbie is a movie that is the hot topic right now. It was released July 21st, 2023. Yes, it was. Directed by Greta Gerwig, starring Margot Robbie as Barbie and Ryan Gosling as Ken. Perfect casting, as I must say. This movie, to me, because I believe people can kind of take away what they want from a movie and kind of understand what it's about and then maybe formulate their own opinions and, and ideas and, and thoughts about it. What I got from this movie was self-discovery. That is kind of the point. Other than the feminism, self, self there's a bunch, but the one that I'm gonna focus on for this video is self-discovery. Like I said, I believe anyone can interpret art as they want to. And obviously an artist can always just say, this is what the art means. And it's a lot easier for movies. There's so many artists working together to make one vision so clear that the message uh, is a little bit more uh, clear for everybody else. Apparently not for Barbie though. Now, I get that this is a small group of people of an even smaller group of people on the internet. So I'm not saying this as like, everyone's saying this and I'm being the controversial white male savior. I'm just saying that I've seen this and I want to discuss my opinions on this opinion because I believe Barbie is not anti-male. Let's analyze. Some things that I want to start say at the start. When I say Ken, I say Ryan Gosling. That's who I'm talking about. When I say Barbie, I'm talking about Margot Robbie. And I will be making some generalizations in this. I don't mean to. If you would like me to clarify something, I would happily do it in the comments. Speaking of which, I don't think this video or my channel is big enough for any major arguments to happen in the comments. I hope it doesn't. I don't want to, I don't want anything mean. I just want to discuss. Because when I debate or argue or have a conversation as I like to call it, I try to understand both sides. I can see where people are saying this is anti-male. But on my side of things, I see it as self-discovery that is taken in a comedic route, all under the blanket of feminism. 
I should say. I'm just not going to keep mentioning it. It's just up there. Let me just run down the plot real quick. Barbie has an existential crisis, and she needs to go to the real world to discover what it is to be Barbie. And along for the journey is Ken. Now, Barbie's always been a feminist icon, and this movie brilliantly figures out a way to apply that status to today's terms. And they also do something similar with Ken. When they go to the real world, they kind of misinterpret what they're supposed to be doing. So Barbie believes that the people that have kind of caused her existential crisis should become to her in Barbie world and be perfect and all that stuff. But Barbie learns throughout the movie that she is perfect. You shouldn't worry about this stuff. You should be happy with yourself. You should discover yourself and who you are and who you're happy with and what you want to do and, and, and be comfortable in that bubble. Ken, when he goes to the real world, accidentally discovers what it means to be masculine. However, for the purpose, I'm not going to hide it for much longer, he discovers what it is to be toxic masculine. And he brings that toxic masculinity back to Barbie world, thinking that's what it is to be a man. Now let me rewind on Ken's story real quick. At the beginning of the movie, he is unhappy as his position in Barbie world. He'll keep doing it, but he's not happy. And he goes to the real world, discovers toxic masculinity, brings it back, and has this misinterpreted view of what it means to be a man. When in fact, he shouldn't be trying to be a man, he should be trying to be himself. He should discover himself. He should be Ken. And at the end of the movie, Barbie goes off to the real world to become a real person, and she's proud of herself, and she's happy for it. And Ken learns that he doesn't have to derive his personality and his self-worth from Barbie, nor does he have to do it from the outside sources of being a man telling him what it is to be a man. Instead, he realizes that he is enough. He is Kenuff. Now, that is such a boiled down, unfunny version of this movie. It's hilarious, it's so pretty, it's beautiful, it's funny, and it's not anti-male. Like I said, it's about self-discovery. Ken, let's focus on his journey one more time, Ken figures out that he's not happy where he is. He figures out that he shouldn't be happy with trying to force himself into this toxic masculine role. He even mentions at the end of the movie that he was he didn't understand what he was doing. He thought the whole thing was about horses. And then he has this existential crisis, just like Barbie had at the beginning of the movie, where he doesn't know who he is anymore. And Barbie tells him he doesn't have to be Barbie and Ken. He could just be Ken. Now, this is where I can kind of see the other viewpoint getting a little bit misinterpreted. All the men in Barbie world are over dramatic and goofy and fun and silly. All the women are powerful and feminist icons like the Barbie doll. <laughs> Which brings me to my final point. I don't like to say this movie's not for you in the sense that you shouldn't watch this, it's not meant for you. I believe that all art should be consumed by anybody who has the desire to see it. Yes, it's very clear that Barbie is meant for people who played with Barbies and people who are women. <laughs> But a man, like myself, can go see this movie and enjoy it for what it is. I understand that the speech about what it's like to be a woman in the real world doesn't really apply to me. It doesn't have to. You can just enjoy the movie. Again, Barbie World is this jokey, fun, beautiful place to live for Barbies, and Ken's there too. That's the point of the self-discovery for the Kens, is that they learn that it's great to be themselves too. If you go back and watch, there's seeds about this all throughout the movie. I think the ending of the movie is trying to say everybody who lives in Barbie world is realizing who they are as a person, and they're going to be happy that way. They, one person just wants to ride horses. One person uh, likes the fluffy coats. One person just wants to hang out with her, his Barbie. They're doing what they want. It's making them happy. It's not hurting another person. That's life, isn't it? Hopefully that was intelligible. Just to recap, Barbie is not anti-male. It's not trying to hurt your feelings. It's not trying to be mean towards men. It's a comedic look at what toxic masculinity can do to men. Barbie is about self-discovery and finding out what do I want to do? What will make me happy? I'm perfect the way I am. And here I am. I am Kenuff. And again, it's, a, it's for fun. It's jokes. It's for people who love Barbie dolls. It's for f it's for people who love movies directed and made by women. This is a brilliant movie, and I couldn't just sit back and let a bunch of people who I feel like always go to the movies like this and glom on to whatever political or or liberal or or, or whatever take they can find 
and twist it into something evil and bad and Hollywood's trying to kill you and all this stuff. Again, I'm making generalizations. It's just... Go to the movies and have fun. Calm down. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, this is just my take. This is just my opinion. If you want to talk about your opinion, I'd love to hear it down below. I hope I didn't make anyone angry or upset. Anyways, that's enough about Barbie. Thank you, and you're Knuff. I'll see you next time.